happening? Ow! It's really heavy! Oh! Why am I smiling like an idiot? Well, it's because I love cladograms, and today we get to talk about cladograms. Cladograms are trees that display evolutionary relationships, and for the last 130 years or so, this was the commonly accepted dinosaur family tree. On the top left, we have the long-necked sauropods, which include dinosaurs such as Apatosaurus and Brachiosaurus. Next to the sauropods, we have the somewhat closely related theropods. These are the three-toed, bipedal, primarily carnivorous dinosaurs, including T-Rex, this velociraptor that's lost its feathers, and of course, modern birds, because well, hashtag birds are dinosaurs. Together, sauropods and theropods make up one half of the dinosaur cladogram that scientists refer to as Sauritian dinosaurs. On the other half of the cladogram, we have Ornithischian dinosaurs. Paleontologists separate dinosaurs into these two groups based on their pelvic structure. In the pelvis, Sauritian dinosaurs have a pubis bone, seen here in orange, pointing downwards and even a little forward versus in Ornithischian dinosaurs, that same orange pubis bone points backwards towards the tail end of the dinosaur. Ornithischian dinosaurs include animals such as Stegosaurus, as well as the Ceratopsian horn dinosaurs like Triceratops and Styracosaurus, as well as the Hadrosaurs, including dinosaurs like Iguanodon and Parasaurolophus. Last week, a PhD student at the University of Cambridge named Matthew Barron published a study that could revolutionize dinosaur science. According to their model, theropods actually share more common traits, not with sauropods, but with Ornithischian dinosaurs, and therefore should be lumped together in a new clade called Ornitho... Shelidans, ornithoshelidans, I can't, ornithoshelidans, ornithoshelidans, shelid. I have no idea how this is pronounced. Ornithos, ornithoskeletons. If this new study gains widespread acceptance, it means a revolution in dinosaur taxonomy, a rewriting of paleontological textbooks, and a reorganization of museum fossil halls that group dinosaurs into sauritians and ornithischians. But that's a big if. The scientific endeavor progresses by vigorously testing and retesting old hypotheses, examining new data, and never taking anything as dogma. Now, if you'll pardon me, I got a lot of work on my hands.